welcome back so in today's video i am going to show you a grid web application which is created by using the google sheet as a database and google web app script so this web application have the two user roles the admin and the user so we will discover both of the users and we will also check step by step how this web application will work okay so this is a admin role right now you can see this is a admin admin can see the dashboard and then uh, the status distribution matches status and some uh, dashboard cards here and also they can see all the records available in our database and uh, the approvals in which they can approve or reject so we will see it step by step so first of all on the other hand we are going to log in as a user so this is a particular user i just copy this username and password and paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here we are being successfully logged in here so this is the uh, user login and this is the admin login so in the user state you can see this is a pending data right now so how it will be the approved we just go to the admin section and here in the approval section in the approval section we will see uh, the this particular data so this is created by user one so you can see this is created by user one and uh, you can see this is the data which is created by the user one and here we can see the record details as well and uh, we can overview the details of the record and then we have a option to reject this record and also a option to approve this record so i want to approve this record i just simply click on this approve and now our data which is submitted by a user one is successfully being approved okay now we just commit here and uh, just go to the my log section in the user one and uh, you can easily able to see here this is their logs which is uh, only for this particular user so user can't filter anyone you can see this is a user one and all actions add record update or you can also apply the filters and in when we go to the record sections and the main time the data will refresh itself okay so you can see this data is being approved by the admin right now okay so you can also see the record history of this particular data you can see this is a add record you record the data on this particular date and time and this is the record id and this is update record id updated by you user and this is the approved uh, the admin will approved on this particular time so you can also see the history you can also update the data as well so this is all thing and i am showing you add record and when you go to the add record you just need add here demo data and when you enter here the demo data <coughs> so you can easily add here uh, some demo data don't worry about it we just test it again and here's the address and here's your date of birth and here's status and here's option and here's the pay here's the select yes and remarks and click on this save so here's you need to enter the full name we just add here the full name and click on this save so when i click on this save now it means the user one has submitted the data to the admin okay so admin will need to approve this data or decline this data we already see the approval case but now what we will do we will check it out the rejection case in this scenario okay we just simply click on this refresh and when i click on this refresh you can see this is data submitted by this particular user and i just simply click on this reject and click on this reject record so when i click on this reject record as of now you can able to see here the record is rejected out successfully so we just go to the record section again and you can see the record is rejected by the admin so in the my account section there is a simple thing you can just update your password so you can see this is your username you can also update the username password and everything so that's all about the user now we will see about the admin section so in the admin section you can see this is a pending approvals you can approve or uh, reject the data in the record section you can see all the records from all the users and also you can apply the searches here and filters and then taluk filters and then status filters and then sent message filters as well okay so this is the thing uh, you can do it here so here you can also see this is a, a history section in the history section so you can see how the record history the uh, user one add record data and the admin one reject the record so i uh, if we see this particular history so you can also check it here uh, the record history the user to edit this data and the admin one approved this particular data okay so you understand this records and approval 
workflow now we just go to our users section in the user section is same and this is a basic thing of every web application so you can see this is a inactive user and remaining all the active users you can active or inactive means you can log in or not okay so let me show you a demo for this i just copy this particular url and paste it here and you can see this is a admin to we just copy this particular username because the password is same and we will make it the inactive and click on this save and when i click on this save you can see the browser updated successfully and we just go to our web application and enter the login details for our admin to and click on this login so when i click on this login so you can see account is inactive please contact administrator so inactive means user cannot able to log in to their dashboard okay so in the activity logs you can see admin can see all the activities performed over all the user so red color shows the uh, reject record and the green color shows the approved record and you can see all the record from here okay in the my account section this is also same you can also update your username and password as well so this is the complete uh, current web application which is created by using the google sheet and uh, web app script so the question is that how we can set up it on our uh, email on our end so you whenever you see uh, this link uh, just go to your uh, email id and just paste the uh, url here and uh, you will see this kind of interference in front of you and when you see this kind of interference don't hesitate then just click on this make a copy and when you click on this make a copy it means this this complete google sheet and it's the code.js and index.html automatically copied in your google drive and now you can see this kind of a sheet in your in your google drive this is available in your google drive just simply click on this extensions and go to the app script and you can uh, able to see the code.js and index.html in front of you already so if you want a custom project you can contact us and you can subscribe our channel for uh, more videos like this and just simply click on this deploy and click on this new deployment and here sometimes you can see this kind of interference so just simply click on this web app and select here anyone and execute is this and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy so you can see here a new deployment authorized access demanded so you just simply click on this authorized access and continue with your uh, email and when you continue with your email click on this advanced go to the untitled project and save okay so just here continue and when you click on this continue so it means you authenticate uh, your google account access to run this particular web application which is based uh, we are making in the google app script so this is a url you can simply use this on any kind of uh, website like it you can see the blogger the wordpress and many more so we have already added a feature so you can use the iframe and embed this particular web application to the blogger and i will add the video link in the description uh, in the description uh, how to connect a blogger with your uh, google app script web app your web app so you can easily find them in our description and hope you will like it